Hey everyone, it's Eva Mikajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we arrived in Celadon City and we arrived in, also arrived in the game corner and we stopped at this poster. Now, if you click on the poster, you will see that a flight of stairs appear. That takes us down to the rocket hideout and the first rocket dungeon in the entire game. Alright, uh, I'll probably skip most of the battles in here because it's just going to be me training up my Growlithe. So, however, I will show one or two. So. Yeah, I do have a lot of nerve walking straight, walking straight in here, but uh, anyway. I remember the first rocket battle in here. It stands out Eradicate. I believe it has two level 21 Eradicates, this bloke. Um, Alright, and we'll just intimidate him, which will lower his attack. Okay, what's up with Ember? Oh, crap, that did a lot of damage. Withdraw him. Send out Ivysaur because he'll probably do a much better job than uh, Growlithe would at this stage. Who is Razor Leaf? Uh, he just basically he just evened out what my Intimidate did to him, so he just lowered my defense. So really, that Intimidate did not do anything compared to when he's only when he's facing Ivysaur though. So, all right. Awesome, and Ivysaur grows to level 27. And like I said, he'll be using on the Raticate. Throw Growlithe out there, just get some more experience points. Um, should be level 21. Is it level 21? Yes, it's level 21. Let's intimidate you once again. Intimidate's pretty handy, I guess, against Pokemon like Rattata, Raticate, uh, and Marchokes, and all that kind of stuff, because they mainly know physical type attacks, but you see, Hyper Fang would have done a lot more damage than that if Intimidate did not take place. But uh, and plus my Ivysaur is just awesome, so only pick the best. Alright, and that ends the first battle in this, uh, dungeon. Alright. Alright, you see there's an item down here, and I believe it is a escape rope. Uh, escape rope virtually speaks for itself. Uh, no items down here, I don't think. I'll just check for a hit of item things. Ah, oh, screw it. Alright. Who cares? Now go over here, you don't have to do this battle until the way out, but I'll just do it anyway, so this guy doesn't get in my way. Okay, after that's done, we head downstairs, and I'm pretty sure... Hmm. Alright, I'm pretty sure you guys all remember this part in Red, Blue and Yellow version. Probably one of the most frustrating parts of the entire game. But there are a lot of items here, so over here's an X speed. That's what I like about Fire Red and Leaf Green, I guess. I mean, he goes around these arrow things much faster. In Red, Blue, and Yellow, he was so slow at doing those things. Oh, by the way, that's a Moonstone. Moonstone will evolve certain types of Pokemon like Nidorina and Nidorino. Also, you, you've, uh, that's 10 and 12, 12 Taunt. Um, Alright, no, that's the wrong way. It would go this way, go down, across, down. No, no, wrong one. Whoopsie daisies, we'll go back around. For goodness sake, go around, that's better, that's better. Can get stopped, down, cross, up, uh, down again. And we go down, and make sure you get the top one, otherwise, we have to start all over again. Uh, that goes the same for this one down here. Get the top one, otherwise we're going to start all over again. Um, Alright, we make it out. Uh, we go upstairs. We can't use the lift yet because we don't have the lift key, which gets given to us by one of the rocket grunts. Intruder alert! Uh, I just want you guys to keep in mind... Oh, by the way, this is a hyper potion. I just want you guys to keep in mind that... Uh, you don't necessarily have to do this uh, dungeon first. You can, however... Um, go to the fourth gym first, but then again, you don't have to even go to the fourth gym first. You can go here, like I am doing now. But um, if you want to get, if you want to go back to Lavender Town, you must go to this place first. 
because just in this place after defeating the rocket boss you will receive the sealed scope which allows you to see ghosts in the lavender tower and over here is a rare candy all right um yeah, as i was saying uh you can actually do the fifth gym after this place you can go down to future city and do that gym or you could go to um the settle on mansion get the tea and go through to take through the saffron city however just bear in mind uh, this drongo didn't see me I just bear in mind, um, by the way, this is black glasses that offs the power of dark type moves. I uh, just bear in mind that um, you have to do this in this exact order. You have to go here, uh, Max Ether. You have to go here, and then over to um, Lavender Tower, and then over to Sylph's Go. Sylph, Sylph Co. Oh, by the way, this is a required battle over here. This is the guy that gives you the lift key. Um, yeah, and then over to Sylph Co. And then you can either do uh, the fourth. Gym in Celadon City, the, uh, the Fuchsia Gym or the Saffron Gym in any order you want. But as long as you do uh, the Rocket Hideout in Celadon City, Lavender Tower, and then um, the Sylph Co. in any order, in that specific order, you will be able to uh, go to any of those three gyms in any order you want. Oh crap, you just do self destruct, and that's. Oh. Self Destruct is the second most powerful move in the game. It has a power of 200 and will virtually guarantee a hit. Uh, the only move that is stronger than that is actually Explosion. It has, has a power of 300. So, uh, yeah. We just smashed that Zubat. We really did. That was pure ownage. Okay. I'm on. Oh no, I <laughs> dropped the lift key. Uh, that's a good line. Uh, oh no, I dropped the lift key, that's pretty funny. Uh, why didn't you pick it up, you idiot? As if you just let some 10 year old kid just pick it up. That's pretty dumb. Okay. Let's go back upstairs and we'll make our way back over to the lift. Go through this crap again. Uh, I probably should cut this out, eh? Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to cut this out. I'm going to show you me doing this. Just to annoy you. No, I love you. I don't want to annoy you guys. Alright, now we can loot you as a lift now. And, uh... We go to... B4F. That's the basement... Fourth, the fourth basement floor. So, uh... And over here is another item. There's a lot of items in this place as you can see and it's a calcium woo -hoo! calcium okay now you can't get through these doors up here unless you battle both of these both of these rocket grunts alright first time as Ekans Ekans on level 23 pure poison type Growler go on Growler they're just going to intimidate each other I'm gonna, my Growler's going to intimidate Ekans and Ekans is going to intimidate my Growler so we're virtually back to stage 1 when it comes to physical attacks, but however, I won't be using any physical attacks because my Growl doesn't know any physical attacks, and uh, he just used Bite, that's not a physical attack either. In this game, it's not a physical attack. In Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, it... Oh, crap, he just used Glare. That paralyzes you, Glare. However, um, they do change the uh, physical and special type abilities in, um, in uh, Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl, you use it on, based on uh, whether the attack itself is physical and in here they just base it on if it's special or physical or whatever um yeah right, I'm just gonna speed this up because this is probably gonna be the most boring battle in the entire game so right, I will yeah you'll be able to see this fuck <laughs>
I know that that horrible part's over. We'll, we got up here and we see that there's a boss here. Alright, next episode we take on the Thimogat boss. He's in.